In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the internal battery on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Begin by powering down the device. Then you're going to take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws either side of the lightning connector on the bottom of the phone. Now I'm going to use a suction cup, attach it to the bottom third of the phone, and then I'm going to take a single-sided razor blade. And if you watch carefully what I do from the side, I'm going to pop it sort of in between the very edge of the chassis and the edge of the screen. And I'm gonna push it straight down, look. Push it straight down like that. Add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol. And then my intention here is to pull that razor blade back and then sort of pull up and back on the suction cup. And it's gonna pop it just like that. That was quite a satisfying one. I guess this phone's probably been opened before. Now I'm gonna take a guitar pick and I'm just gonna run it down these edges. Add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol when it gets a little bit tough. And then just keep going all the way down the right hand edge, back across and down the bottom edge. And then we'll do the same thing on this right, left, other side. You know what I mean. Now that we've got it like that, I'm gonna lift it up from the bottom, and then a wiggle just wiggle the bottom of the screen like that and then it should create a gap at the top so you can pop and pop out like that and that's it the screens removed well the screens detached from the housing it's not removed just yet so now we need to remove the screen it's held down with this funny shaped shield and four tri-wing screws so it's a y triple zero screwdriver that you need to remove these ones get all four of those out of the way when you remove them, keep them somewhere where you're going to remember where they are. Don't lose them. You need to reinstall them later. And then you're going to use some tweezers to pick that out of the way. Use a plastic spudger to disconnect the battery. So just here, that's the battery connector. And then you've got the screen that can be disconnected. Don't pull on the screen just yet because we need to go up the top here. So we've got another four triwing screws. Do the same again. Don't lose them. Keep them safe. Get all four of them out of the way. And then, same as we did before, there's a strange little hook just here that holds it in place. So you have to lift it up from this side and then give it a little wiggle and eventually it'll shuffle out just like that. Keep that safe. And then you've got this little connector here that needs to be removed too. Disconnect that. And then we can lift the screen away now and put that to one side for later. What I'm going to do now is add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol around the battery here and let that soak in for a minute whilst I remove the adhesive that's holding, that holds the screen down, should I say. The best tool to use for these is a number 4A X-Acto blade. And we're just going to get underneath it. And like I say, I think this one's been done before. So we can, we'll be able to peel this one. If it's not been swapped out before, then you'll find that it'll be a bit trickier than I'm making it look. If you watch any of my other videos where I remove adhesive, you can't usually peel it off like this. You have to sort of scrape at it and just be very careful while you're doing it. But like I say, this one has definitely been replaced before. That was my James Bond voice, by the way, because I detect it. A detective of, a, of replacements. <laughs> that was really easy. If you're doing this for the first time, it will not be as easy as that, I promise you. But once you've got it all off, run some more alcohol down there. And then I'm gonna use a Q-tip cotton bud, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna really, really scrub at that little edge. Right, getting right into that groove, getting right into the groove. Really scrub it up clean. Make sure it's nice. So with all that adhesive cleaned out, the alcohol that we put on the battery should have soaked in now. Now you've got a couple of options. You've got these little pull tabs here that you can have a go at and, uh, and try to pull out. However, if you get a plastic guitar pick like I have here, you can just have a little pry at it and you'll find that it's a lot easier. With a pry tool like that, get that under it as well if you want 
and you'll get it out much easier than trying to mess around with those pull tabs because those pull tabs quite frankly do not work anyway battery is safely removed dispose of this using your local recycling instructions personally i like to throw them over the nursery gates and leave it for some children to get rid of you have to follow your local rules pull off any of that remaining adhesive that's how you're meant to pull the adhesive out from underneath the battery but it just doesn't work but what you should be left with is a nice clean space just here where you can install the new battery the battery that we're installing in this one is a replacement battery with adhesive compatible for iphone 12 pro max it's a genuine oem port look this is how apple sends out their parts it looks something like this we open it up and you'll get two things in here you get the battery which is in that plastic just there and then on the back of it don't worry if you've lost all them screws because look it, they actually send all these screws with it now something that i noticed the other day is it comes with like if you look at this like those screws these go there those ones go there and these ones are for down there what they're suggesting to me is to remove that and that so that you can pull the adhesive out but if you follow my method you don't need to remove the loudspeaker or the tactic engine anyway that's just my opinion i do it all day every day the battery comes wrapped in lots of plastic you'll have to do the same with that recycle it and then you've got this cardboard sort of spacing block as well as this pink sheet underneath the pink sheet remove that that's just an adhesive cover but leave that block on there for now that block is going to help us line it up and line it up right so we need we need to line up that edge to the tactic engine there and that edge to this bit of plastic here so if we line that up and we line that up it's a bit awkward but if you line those those two edges up and they're right then you'll find that the battery sits in perfectly and lines up perfectly just there what you'll be left with is a battery that's sat roughly where it wants to be well actually exactly where it wants to be and then all you've got to do is just pull on these little pull tab things if you wiggle them side to side they come up a bit better you just got to keep it flat don't pull them away pull it that direction does that make sense and pink good timing that and that's it your battery's in it's lined up it's in where it wants to be so yeah chuck this little spacer in the bin now now adhesive time these batteries don't come with the screen adhesive you will have to buy that separately they cost about one pound to one to two pound for a genuine one this is a genuine one uh, the genuine ones come on a pink sheet what you don't want to do is mess it up like that because that's two pounds thrown straight in the bin i've actually not done that for ages but let's start again this sheet line this corner up here to this corner just here line them up just like that now i always follow down this left hand edge lining it in if you've lined that up like that then you'll be able to follow it around on the bottom and then by the time you've gone up the right hand edge everything else should line up perfectly the stars are lined this adhesive is perfect unlike the last one <laughs> um and then plastic spudger again just push down with the flat end of your spudger to make sure that that adhesive is lined up exactly where you want it to be and it's pushed down and it's secure so that you can remove this mid layer like that and you should be left behind with one last bit of plastic sort of film still on there we leave that on until the very last minute before we put the screen on before you put the screen on just rub your thumb over that back edge make sure that any adhesive is removed from there there's a little bit there look so just make sure that that's all gone and it's nice and clean and then you're going to offer the screen up connect it just there once it clicks you know that it's right and then do the same up to that one and then we're going to start rebuilding these little shields so put this one into place just there and then you can either use the screws that came with the service pack or you can just recycle the ones what came with the phone 
what you've already taken out, just make sure that they go in the right place. I think the main reason that those service pack screws come lined up like that is because people have a tendency to put the wrong screws in the wrong place, whereas they're laid out exactly where things need to go. Um, but I've done this once or twice before, and I am somewhat confident I know where these screws go. Don't forget to connect your battery before you put this little shield on. And then of course we've got four more little triwing screws. Four more screws, a bit of jiggery pokery, and it's job done. So just run your eye over it. You want to make sure that it's not covered in dust and crap. Use a little car detailing brush to just brush away any dust. Make sure that it's clean. Make sure it looks good. Um, if you want to remove your DNA from the shields, that'd be a good idea. I mean, some of you might have used gloves already, but I don't. I don't like them. But I do like to just clean up fingerprints off the off the aluminium shields, and then we're going to peel off this last bit of film from the edge of the screen. Sorry, the edge of the frame. Fold it a bit down like that, so that we can get it all off, and then. We're going to close it up properly this time so to close it up properly we're going to sort of hover it above see how it's just hovering above the phone and then i'm going to push down on this top area here and then i'm just going to work my way across with my two my finger and my thumb and i'm just going to push it down make sure that it sticks in what you might find is that look i'm squeezing that and it's not going in there's a reason if something doesn't go this case it's because the uh, little clip was holding it off but you might find that there's a cable there or a rogue screw so just beware of what you're doing is what i'm saying let's get rid of this suction cup now we will reinstall these two pentalobe screws and then i'll show you the calibration process it's quick and simple ish usually i've not checked oh i have checked it is on the latest ios Right. We're going to plug it in now. Right, so what you'll have to do at this point, you have to wait, usually, until the battery is at 20%. However, you can cheat this, turn the phone off, and what we're going to do, we're going to wait 10, 20 seconds to make sure that it's off, off, like really off. And then you're going to press the volume up and volume down at the same time. So I'm going to press them two together, and then while I'm pressing it, I plug it in to a power delivery cable. And with that, you should get an Apple logo. And then I usually wait five or six seconds, release the volume up and volume down, and then eventually it's gonna go straight into diagnostic mode and not turn on. Right, so now that we're in diagnostics and repair mode, I am going to connect it to Wi-Fi first of all. Just remember that you can't use a hotspot. It's gonna to connect to Apple servers, and then we're gonna choose finish repair. You can use run diagnostics, and that'll give you an, a few options of checking various functionality features of the phone but we're going to choose finish repair in this case allow it to configure it's just working out what parts are new and we should get battery oh, we've got camera as well in this case a genuine camera and a genuine battery so there you go that's what's been changed on this one before i'm going to choose continue it should allow us to configure but sometimes it can be a bit funny if there's multiple new parts Normally, if there's problems, you get about to there, this line here, and then it'll restart. But we've got camera calibration. I'm gonna do this off screen. It basically makes me go backwards and forwards with the camera for a few minutes, and then I'll come back and finish the battery calibration. Right, so I've just done the camera configuration for the last five minutes. I'm just gonna plug it back in. What you'll notice is these genuine batteries never come with much charge on them. So just keep it plugged in as much as you can. Uh, hopefully it'll finish configuring and I'll be able to show you when the phone turns on. Right, that's done. It's all been configured. It'll restart now. The phone will turn back on. So now we're just going to go onto battery and it should say that we're 100% maximum capacity. So that's done its thing. And then you want to go to general about, and you can see the battery and camera have just been calibrated. Genuine battery, genuine camera, magic.